Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. Team, I got to stand up, man. Yo. All right, y'all. Today, start your morning off with another prophetic word from Mrs. AJ Bailey. You know what I'm saying? Last video I've watched of her was very informing. Or should I say informative? Well, basically, uh, it, it came to use. And I'm pretty sure it was came to use to a few of y'all as well, bro. And I'm going to continue to share a lot of this stuff, bro, that may help you guys out just as much as it may help me. You know what I'm saying? But let's watch this video. It's titled, Your Faith is Being Tested. And boy, has my faith been tested in so many different ways. And, and to this day, my faith is still continuously being tested on the daily. You dig what I'm saying? But you just got to fight through it, bro. Hopefully, y'all fighting through it, bro. And hopefully, we fight through it together, guys, in the name of Jesus. But let's watch this video. Those of you who are being tested right now, I wanted to remind you of James 1 verse 12 that says, Blessed is the one who remains steadfast under trial. For when they have stood the test, they will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. You're going through this season of testing, and it's not an easy season. You're going through... A lot that you might not have been facing before but what you need to be reminded of is that this moment is strengthening you your yes, faith is being tested in God and the reason why he's allowing you to go through these hard times is so that you can prove your faith and your trust is fully in him yes ma'am it's the perseverance you of getting me. through these times not only persevering but relying on the lord's strength that he's providing you that when you seek him out he will provide you the strength to persevere because perseverance proves your faith and trust in god when you continue to rely on the lord and not think about the things that are holding you back not letting the seeds of doubt and worry infiltrate your mind and cause you to doubt yourself, cause you to worry, cause you to say that you can't do something, cause you to say that you, you can't continue on, to lead you to giving up, having the feelings of giving up, not allowing those to come in, but pushing them, casting them away and asking the Lord instead for his strength, for his guidance, so that you can persevere through this season in your life. It's not going to last forever. You have to be reminded and continue to remind yourself that every single day, that every single day you wake up, the Lord has allowed you to step and walk with him. He's allowed you to continue on this path that he has for your life. Hallelujah. So when you wake up every morning, you're filled with a sense of peace and knowledge, knowing that God has made this day for you. Hallelujah. He's allowed you to wake sure. up again, to allow you to fulfill your purpose in your walk with him that's why it's so important to even during these times to thank god for the trials to thank him for strengthening you in advance because knowing knowing what james 1 verse 12 says those who remain steadfast those who pass the test will receive the crown of life which god has promised to those who love him he is allowing you to go through this because he loves you he's allowing you to go through this because he knows that when you rely on him you will be able to get through it when you finally understand that when you push those seeds of fear and anxiety and doubt out of your mind and solely focus on god he will do things in your life that you could have never even imagined because your reliance on him on his strength on his peace on his guidance to push you through will allow you to get to the other side without giving up 
it will get you to that other side and once you are there you will understand you mm. will understand and know why god made you go through he allowed you to go through the things that you're going through right now lord i pray in the mighty name of jesus that this reaches those who are who are so close to giving up, who are allowing these, these seeds of fear and doubt and worry to be planted into their minds. But Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you cast those feelings out, that your strength, your guidance, your peace fills them today, that they persevere through the trials that they are facing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I ask for your strength, for your peace to wrap over, to cover and protect those who are watching. We pray, amen and amen. Even I'm going through this time right now in my life and I have to continue to rely on the Lord's strength. So I encourage you, I mm. pray that you continue to rely on the Lord for his strength through this season of trial. Because when you do, you will reach the other side victorious. victorious. You have the Lord on your side. You have to remind yourself that he is on your side. He is fighting your battles with you, for you, alongside you. And you need to keep going you need to keep going because this is a season where your faith is being tested the lord wants to see how much you trust him how much faith you have in him even if everything seems impossible even if the things that you are facing seem like like mountains that you have no idea how you're going to be able to get over them the lord will make a way in the wilderness he says he will make a way in the wilderness and you will get through it when you rely on him, when you trust him, when you focus on him, when you put all of your faith in him. Bold assurance that he will get you through. Praise him, worship him every single day that you wake up throughout your day. Pray, give me, Lord, give me the strength to persevere. And when you do that, he will bring you through whatever you are going through. Thank you and God bless. Bless you too. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video could agree that a lot of us uh, naturally just become doubtful of ourselves in so many different situations. It could be even little situations. We tend to doubt ourselves more than we push ourselves. We tend to doubt ourselves more than we uh, rely on God sometimes. You feel me? Like I always say, he has a, a very unique way of waking people up, as I should say. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you if you're actually going to open your eyes, bro. <laughs> like, sometimes people could still be asleep, but you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody could just come around and just open open your uh, your lids for you, but you're still asleep, you know? And that's like how a lot of us walk around. We walk around like this, you know what I'm saying? But really still be asleep. And I just hope that anybody who needed to see this video, see this video... <laughs> Anybody who needed to hear that prayer, hears that prayer. And I encourage everybody to stop doubting yourself, man, and rely on Jesus Christ.